After receiving and mounting the last two SDI to HDMI converters from Blackmagic Design, it's finally time to test the setup with longer SDI cables. If you want to know how I've set up the 18 Mini Pro together with the converters, you can go to part 1. In this test, I've used four SDI cables, each 75 meters long. I've connected one Sony FS7 and three Sony X70 cameras to one end, and the other end goes into the converters. The final HDMI feed from the converters are crystal clear on the switcher. Since the last update on the Blackmagic Mini Pro, it's also possible to set the system to lower frame rates than the monitor actually handles. In this case, my AOC 24-inch IPS gaming monitor only works with frame rates higher than 50 frames per second. After the update, I can set the system down to 25 frames per second and still get a multi-view image. Before, it just went black. I got a comment on my last video from Lighter007 that the SDI HDMI converters might be a bit too power hungry for the four USB outlets on the screen. I ran the system for about an hour without any issues. The ATEM Mini Pro switcher got a bit warm though. After this test, I'd say the system is ready to set to work. Please comment if you have any questions or any other ideas for an affordable, ultra-compact and portable 4-camera studio.